What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Michelle. I'm super excited today. We're going to be testing out some Jacqueline Cosmetics. Um, I've never tried anything from Jacqueline Cosmetics before, so I'm excited about that. I got the new Skin Perfecting Blurring Tint, which I don't know how to feel about that because I am not a fan of like skin tints. I like more of a full coverage so we'll see and then i also got um the perfecting concealer now with the skin tint i got shade a light medium and with the concealer i got light medium neutral now i do love how she has them named i think they're named like super easy to pick from so hopefully but <laughs> looking at the packaging i'm like uh oh we might have a problem. I don't know. We'll see though. It says get that sheer coverage that smooths, blurs, enhances skin's appearance for an effortless, no makeup, makeup look with a natural finish. But it does say that you can use this as a primer. So I might just be using this as a primer today because um, I like to have a little bit of coverage. I have a lot of redness. I have a veins. I got a lot of things going on that I like to try to cover up with makeup. Ooh, this is pretty packaging. It's plastic, but very nice. I mean, it's very like pleasing to the eye. I like that. It has an airless container, so you get all of the product out of here, which I do enjoy that because a lot of things that you get, you can't get all the product out of. And that's the concealer. Actually, I think that concealer is going to be a good... Um, like this is my elf one that I use all the time. So it uh, looks like it's gonna be a pretty good match actually. So good job Jacqueline for actually naming them and you can pick something out one line that's gonna work. That's cool. I like it. So it says you can just put this on with your hands or with a beauty blender, whichever you prefer. I think I'm just gonna do it with my hands and see what happens. But I'm hoping that this turns out really well because I know Jacqueline is, she likes full coverage as well. So I'm hoping that this is like my new favorite thing. But if not, I'll just use it as a primer. Like I said, no, um, no biggie if I don't like it as just a skin tint because I've never liked just the skin tint ever. I don't use just skin tints. I couldn't even tell you that like I have tried them, but uh, I've never had one go very well. Most of them are like um, moisturizer for your skin. Most of them don't even do anything. I'm like, what is the point of this? There is no point for me anyways. I'm gonna pull my hair back. My hair has been like, oh my Lord. I'm having a bad hair day. I can't get it to do anything that I want it to. Okay, I'm excited. Uh, it's a very like whipped moosey <laughs> feeling. Well, this is a lot more uh, coverage than I thought it was going to be. Oh, I hope it blends into the skin. Maybe I should have used the sponge. I didn't put a primer or anything on my face just because it says that you can use it as a primer. So I'm just going to do half of my face and then that way we can kind of see if it blurs. But it does look like it's blurring my skin. Um, it takes a minute, I would say, to work it in. It feels uh, very hydrating on your skin. It doesn't feel... Um, dry or anything uh but i actually do think that it blurred my skin like of course you can see like some of my redness coming through but it definitely toned it down quite a bit because my face does get pretty red so okay i do like that and the match is really good as well like you can't really you can't see where i have it on and where i don't unless you just look at my uh, redness it just helps tone that down. So, uh, actually, that's not too bad. I think for the other side, I think I'm just going to spread it out. And it smells good. I like the way it smells. 
And I'm just going to blend it out with my sponge. So I absolutely think that it does just what it says. It blurs. It smooths your skin. Um, like your skin still peeks through, but I would definitely say my skin looks uh, a lot better than just natural skin. Okay, I am liking this product, so that's good so far. I mean, I really, I really do not like skin tints, um, but I do like this one. This one, I could see using this, like, this would be so easy to do first thing in the morning after you wash your face and put your moisturizer on, just to throw this on, because between... Uh, this is the side that I just use my hand with and this is the side that I use a sponge with I don't really see a difference in either side I mean, I still feel like my redness is peeking through on both which is Normal when you have a skin tint. So I would definitely agree with all the claims. Uh, so far I like this but I will definitely let you know down in the description box how it wore but so far, so good. I really like that skin tint. So a good job, Jacqueline Cosmetics, on a skin tint. Hey. Okay, so let's try out the concealer. I'm excited for the concealer now. Hopefully, oh, it seems kind of dry. It does say on there to work in sections. Like I read the like little thing online and it said to work in sections because it dries quicker. So that's fine. But it's supposed to be like, she said you don't have to set this. So I would imagine this is probably going to dry down to like a powder. It's going to be like a cream to powder, you know, product. Blend it out super easy. And this is supposed to be like a medium to full coverage. So you can add a little bit and then go back and add more if you want it more coverage. I feel like with the skin tint, I wouldn't want it to be but like so full coverage because... You know, you got a skin tint on, like you don't have hardly any coverage on your skin as it is. But I definitely will be trying this concealer with an actual foundation. I feel like with, with the actual foundation, you're going to be able to tell more with the concealer. I don't know. I'm going to add just like a little bit of this to my cheeks. See if we can cover up a little bit of that redness. I would say that it's a medium coverage for sure. Um, I really don't want to build it up too much just because, like I said, I'm wearing a skin tint, so I don't want to be like no coverage everywhere, but like my under eyes, you know what I mean? I just think that'll look weird. And I know it says that you don't have to uh, set the concealer and which you don't, it does dry to like a powdered finish, but I'm going to just go ahead and lightly set my whole face. Once I get everything set down, then I'll go back and add some blush and bronzer just to finish the look. And I won't do a whole lot. This is just going to be like a quick, easy, simple look. I think that it sets down really nice though. I'm so far so good. I'm loving both products. So this is definitely making me want to try more Jaclyn Cosmetics because like I said, I've never tried anything before. I've seen this come out on Ulta and I was like, well, let me go ahead and get it and see if I like it or not. On a day that you don't feel like doing the whole nine yards, I can see where this would be like a quick, easy five to 10 minute look. So I'm going to use my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I like this bronzer because it is a very um, light bronzer. I think it's a really nice color. It just bronzes your skin up. You're not going to look muddy or anything from this bronzer. I definitely want to try more things from Physicians Formula. So... Give this video a thumbs up if you're wanting to see a video on Physician's Formula. And then for blush, I'm going to use the Burt's Bees Toasted Cinnamon. Now, this blush has probably been one of my favorites that I've been using so much lately because 
It's a very natural blush on you, but I absolutely love this blush. I have been using it nonstop since I got it. And the powders are laying really nice on top of the skin tint, so that's awesome. The under eyes, they look really well too. Nothing is extra creasy, cakey, or anything. So I'm liking both of those products so far. I'm excited. Okay. I think for my eyebrows, I'm just going to use the e.l.f. Wow Brow Gel. I'm not going to add any like pencil or anything to them. I think I'm just going to comb this through just to give my eyebrows a little more color. I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. No Budge Retractable Eyeliner and put a little bit of eyeliner in here. And this is in the shade black. So I'm gonna take the Essence Coffee to Glow palette. I love this little palette. I just think it's so like quick, easy, grab it. There's only, there's only so many colors in this palette. So I mean, it's not that like difficult to figure out what um, look you're gonna do. So that's another reason why I like it so much. I'm not doing any primer or anything underneath of this. The formula is amazing. So far, I feel like everything is looking really good. Um, I feel like my skin looks pretty good. That concealer did great. The skin tint is awesome. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments about the skin tint. Have you tried it? Do you think that you would try it? Okay, you guys, so that is the completed look. Um, I definitely love this skin tint. This stuff is so good. You really should try this. It's really good. And like I said, I have mine in light medium. There's only like 12 shades, I think, of this. But um, she did say that it is very forgiving. So I would say probably in the summertime, I might have to get like just medium because I do get a lot tanner than what I am right now. But this color works amazing. Um, it feels so good on the skin. It's very lightweight. It's very hydrating. It does not feel drying to your skin at all, which I love that. Um, I would definitely say give this a try because I am not a girl that likes skin tint at all. But this one, I definitely do uh, plan on using it more because it looks really, it looks so good. I like it a lot. Uh, the concealer is really nice too, but I'm definitely going to try this with an actual foundation, something that has more coverage so I can see if I can build this up to more of a full coverage. Because right now what I'm, what I did was just like keep it medium coverage. I didn't make it a full coverage. So... I will definitely be trying this out again. But yeah, absolutely. I love this uh, collection from Jacqueline Cosmetics. Awesome job. I love everything about it. So make sure you guys comment below and let me know is this something that you would try or not. And if you're not already subscribed, please make sure that you subscribe. It would mean so much to me. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.